Hello everyone. Welcome again to another Word for Today with Ray. Let me just begin today by saying how grateful I am for you for your studying of the Word of God. My prayer is that the Holy Spirit is inspiring you and teaching you in His Word. Maybe not even with just the verses we're going through, but you're now beginning to explore the Bible and all the wonderful riches that are throughout God's Word as He reveals His redemption plan for man and His his idea of being intimate with us and having a personal relationship with us. its The Bible's filled with it. And uh, that's why we always love to go to the Lord in prayer. We know that he knows the Bible better than any of us. And we want his Holy Spirit to teach us. So if you will, pray with me today. Heavenly Father, it's with great pleasure and joy that I come to you today knowing that you're with us and you're ready to guide us in your word again as we study your Bible. Lord, you created us. You gave us life. It's your breath that's in our lungs. Lord, you gave us this, and we just want to return our lives back to you, our love back to you, knowing that you loved us first and you've got our best interests in mind. We ask that you'd guide us by your Holy Spirit today and that you'd empower us uh, to learn the truth that you have and to live the truth that you have for us. We bless you. We give you thanks for these things in Jesus' name. Amen. The title to today's lesson is Jesus' Brothers Did Not Believe. It's taken from the book of John, chapter 7, and verse 5. John the Apostle wrote how Jesus walked in Galilee, for he would not walk in Jewry, because the Jews sought to kill him. His brothers therefore said unto him, Depart from here and go into Judea, that your disciples also may see the works that you do. For there is no man that does anything in secret, and he himself seeks to be known openly. If you do these things, show yourself to the world. And in chapter 7 and verse 5 of his book, John shared, Neither did his brethren believe in him, where we read, For neither did his brethren believe in him. The verse reads, For neither did his brethren. John began with the words, for neither did, or because, since, and on account that no and not in any way did his brethren, which refers to Jesus' brothers, do the following. John shared how Jesus' brothers were like the other Jewish people who did not do the following. The verse goes on to say, believe in him. John continued with the word believe, which means trust in, rely upon, cling to, or have confidence in him or within Jesus. John shared how Jesus' own brothers did not trust in or rely upon him as the Messiah. When we think through John's words in this verse, we see how Jesus' own family was not convinced by him. They knew Jesus personally, and they had a difficult time believing he was God's son in Christ. Familiarity breeds contempt. And because Jesus' brothers were within his family, they could not believe he was the Christ. God loves everyone. And even when they don't believe in him, he continues to pursue them to be their personal Savior and Lord. Let all who read and hear these words study the life of Jesus and find him to be God's Messiah, Christ, and Son, who came to provide salvation for their souls. Next time, John shares how Jesus says, My time is not yet come. So read ahead and we shall join together then. Until tomorrow, there is more. And may the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace as you continue to study his word in Jesus' name.